Morning, St. Ray's. Today's Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. We continue the story of Saul. In spite of Saul's persecution, the apostles kept telling people about Jesus. Today, we hear about the apostle Philip and how he helped to spread Christ's good news. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. That day, a severe persecution began against the church in Jerusalem, and all except the apostles were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria. Devout men buried Stephen and made loud lamentation over him. But Saul was ravaging the church by entering house after house, dragging off both men and women. He committed them to prison. Now those who were scattered went from place to place, proclaiming the word. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Messiah to them. The crowds with one accord listened eagerly to what was said by Philip, hearing and seeing the signs that he did. For unclean spirits, crying with loud shrieks, came out of many who were possessed, and many others who were paralyzed or lame were cured. So there was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Think about this silently in your heart. Pray for those who are persecuted for their faith. Please join me in praying our morning offering. O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. For all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father, Amen. St. Raymond Nanatis, pray for us. St. Philip Neri, pray for us. St. John Baptiste de La Salle, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. Here are today's announcements. It's Tickle Me Tuesday. Today's joke, uh, where did Noah keep a record of his bees? In the archives. <laughs> Thanks to the Wynarski family who shared that one with me in the archives. <laughs> uh, we continue to really smash our rocket walk. I want to thank everybody who's participating in that. Yesterday when I checked, we were already at 9,000 and our goal is 15 and we still have, I think, nine days left. So if you have not uh, created your account and posted it to social media or sent it via email. There's still time. Definitely grateful for those families that are um, doing their best to try and support Rocket Walk. And it goes to technology for all of us um, for next school year. We have a couple of birthdays today. So today, Vivian Abbott in third grade is celebrating her birthday. And Brandon Gavlin in eighth grade is celebrating his birthday. And the two of you celebrate your birthday with Father Ryan. Today is his birthday. So happy birthday to all three of you. <laughs> have an awesome day, Rockets. Uh, remember to get all your work done. We have three days left. We can do it. Remember to listen to your moms and dads, be kind to your brothers and sisters, and use your words and actions to rise to greatness. Have a great day.